Alright everybody, today we will be learning how to use motion studies in SOLIDWORKS. Motion studies allow the user to create some animations to show off the things we've made in the program. The first thing you want to do to start a motion study is just click the button at the bottom of the screen. This will open up the timeline and the motion study toolbar. The first feature we want to show on the motion study toolbar is called the animation wizard. The animation wizard allows us to quickly and automatically create some basic animations. Right now the only available option we have for the animation wizard is to rotate the model. Clicking next lets us tell the program how we want it to rotate, how many times we want it to spin, and the direction. Let's just keep it on the y-axis with a single rotation. Lastly, we can decide when we want the rotation to begin and how long we want it to last for. Let's have it last for 5 seconds and start at the 2 second mark. By clicking the finish button, this will add the animation to the timeline. Click that black play button in the top left and it will show what our animation currently looks like. You will see that nothing happens for 2 seconds and then a full rotation of the model happens for the next 5. The animation wizard is super easy and very quick to use for these kind of animations. But if we want more control over what happens, or we want to do anything more complex, we can also manually create animations too. Let's start with a clean slate. The gray bar on the timeline is called the time bar. We can drag and drop the time bar anywhere we would like. At a specified time, we can orient the object however we want. And using the time bar, SOLIDWORKS will automatically remember the orientation is supposed to be at that time. Here's an example of using the time bar in that fashion. What we want to do here is make sure the time bar is at zero and then orient on the left plane. Now move the time bar to two seconds and orient to the right plane. When we play it, it will follow that same path. Now if we drag and drop the diamonds, we can change that timing. When we play it again, you will see there are two seconds of nothing and then two seconds of a full rotation. Next, let's see how we can use lighting in the motion study. Right click motion study 1 at the bottom of the screen and choose create new motion study. Using the motion study feature tree, right click on lights, camera, and scene and choose create new spotlight. This will open up the spotlight properties tab. While this tab is open, we can change the intensity and position of the spotlight. Make sure that your time bar is currently at 0 seconds and then click the green check mark at the top of the screen. Now we can move the time bar to a different position and change the position of the spotlight itself. Right click on the spotlight underneath the lights, camera, and scene tab and choose properties again. Remember, the spotlight can only be modified when the properties tab is open. Move it to a new position and click the green check mark. You should see the diamonds in the timeline updated. Now, when we play the animation, you can easily see the changes in lighting that happen because of the spotlight. The last feature of motion studies we are showing in this video is how we can modify sketches. I have another tab right here that has a very simple sketch. The motion study tab is open and I've moved the time bar to the two second point. Watch what happens when we change the dimension. We're changing this dimension from 10 millimeters down to five. When we play it, it shows the transition going down. Now, I'm moving the time bar to 4 seconds. We're changing this bottom dimension to 25 and we're going to change this radius to 1. It's very interesting. When we run this animation now, it will change all these at different times. Again, with the diamonds on the timeline, we can modify their position in order to modify the timing of the animation itself. One last important note is that if you are making a motion study of a sketch, ensure that you are currently in edit sketch. If you exit the sketch and try to use the motion study, it will not work. I hope you found this SOLIDWORKS tutorial helpful. If you want to continue improving your skills with SOLIDWORKS, enroll in one of our professional SOLIDWORKS training courses with GoEngineer.